Hello guys, welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna be talking about this Shake and Go Lace Frontal. And um, we're gonna talk about my thoughts about it. So stay tuned. Um, I'm just gonna say this right off the bat. I love, love this frontal. I love it, I love it. Right now, out of all the frontals I tried, it is one of the best frontals I ever had. Human hair frontals I ever had. <sighs> Let me just tell you. So, I only have one con when it comes to this hair one con only one okay so let me tell you about the pros okay so the pros is that i did not bleach or pluck this hair at all as you can see i did not bleach or pluck and do you see any knots if you see a knot, I don't see any knots. I'm just saying. There's no knots. No knots. Girl. This, this lace frontal is the bomb. The bomb. I miss and I literally have a brand new wig. So, um, another, another pro that I absolutely love is that, as you can see, that most of the frontal is literally 13 by five. So you don't have to worry about it being cut off. So if I part on this side, it will literally be 13 by five. I don't have a comb. And you know how some of it, you know how some uh, wigs, like they'll say like it's 13 by six and um, you'll part the wig and then like right up in here, it would be like a track. I hate, yeah. So this one, you know, you could really part it 13 by five. Absolutely love this hair. So please go. I got this hair from my local beauty supply store, like I said, on Maryland Parkway. And, uh, but they also have another store on Rancho. Um, I do live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get this hair online and probably get it a lot cheaper. Just gonna say it. You know, beauty supply stores jack the prices up like twenty to thirty dollars more. So I'm pretty sure you can get this hair for probably like fifty to sixty dollars online, and absolutely gorgeous. So I do recommend this frontal, and yes, I do recommend this frontal. It is absolutely gorgeous. This will be in my favorites when it comes to frontals and I'm, and I'm gonna go buy me another one. They even had different styles. They had the Spanish wave that I love. And I'm going back to get the Spanish wave one. This is the loose wave. And the Spanish wave is more like a curly hair type. So if you have curly hair and you wanna remake a wig with it or if you wanna, I mostly only buy frontals but I wanna, I already have a wig and I wanna remake a wig out of it because the frontal on it is trash or if i have bundles and i want to make a wig i'll just buy a frontal so this is a great um uh, alternative for that thank you for watching my channel and i have more things to come so please keep watching and i love you guys bye so i got this closure from shake and go natural and 100% virgin hair in a 13 by five wet and wavy. It was $75.99 plus tax from my local beauty supply store. And it was a 13 by five loose deep in a 16 inch the color natural.
It's very, very soft. Just gonna carefully take this off. As you can see, the knots are not bleached, but they're very small, which I really like because if you do bleach the knots on this, it will look really good. So I am going to dye this hair, and I am going to make a wig out of it, and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. on that side and you can see how flat that lays you're gonna continue to sew until you get all the way on to the other side uh, i finished making the leg i put the front on on the wig now so now what i'm gonna do is dye the wig black because this hair is really brown so my back hair is even darker but they told me it was gonna be really brown so i really want to just throw it in the i'm gonna go ahead and dye it and get that going so, and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looked like all finished the hot water method we're using some cheap color dye and natural blue black just gonna mix it up and throw it in there and throw it in the color in I'm just mixing the color this water is boiling hot I added I boiled a pot with that amount of water all the way up to the top about there and then I added another hot water uh, another pot of hot water about to there um, and poured it in there too Put your hand in there, I would definitely get like a spoon or spatula, like I did, and just kind of like press it down in there. So we're gonna let this sit for, I already let it sit for like an hour, and then I'll come back for it. I usually dye this pretty quick, but if you want it kind of dark. I like mine really dark. You want to let it sit for a while. Okay. So this is the hair after it was washed. I like that the frontal is thin. It is thin. If you don't like a thin frontal, I don't recommend this. But to me, it kind of saves you from doing all that plucking. That's the parting on it. Pretty nice.
because when it's thin, you can kind of like move it around where you want it to go easily. I hate when mine just stick. I like when it's a little bit thinner at the top and bigger at the bottom. That's just my preference. Everybody don't have that preference. Right, this is a 13 by five, and I think it is a true 13 by five. Um, like all frontals, it does have like that, you know, like this on the amount. It's very soft, it comes through easily. So, that's that. Also used a, the same kind of um, texture of hair. I use curly hair. Well, I use um, loose wave hair to kind of get the same amount. I also put this in there. It is that. It's the Garnier Fructis. Okay, it's leave in conditioner. A little more and the back. That's pretty much what it looks like. Okay, this is the leaf. So you guys made it to the end of this video and that's basically much how I achieve this look. Um, I pretty much dyed it again and when I dyed it again, that's when I got the color I want. As you can see the first time when I dyed it, it was still brown. So I just dyed it again and I didn't do it on camera. I just, all I did was I put it I actually put the dye on the hair instead of doing the water dye and that's how I got this color so thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time